Hershey Park over the last 20 years has given us some of the best coasters out there. And I'm gonna talk about the future of Hershey Park. What new coasters could we see coming to Hershey Park? With a lot of the uncertainty going on with the economy and a lot of these other parks choosing to go very small and mostly family friendly coasters, I think Hershey Park is gonna go that same route. Hershey stock is down significantly and I really think they're worried about return on investment. After the success of Wildcats Revenge, if they can go with something that's economical but yet still draws a crowd, I think that's what they're gonna go with. And here's a few of the options that I think Hershey Park could choose. The Chance Hyper GTX model is a family-friendly coaster offering a bunch of airtime, a small compact layout. This thing is incredible and I wish more parks would add these, but I could honestly see Hershey Park adding something like this. However, they would have to go a little bit bigger so that they could add more trains. I think Kentucky Kingdom has two trains on this. With a pretty small capacity, Hershey would have to do a little bit bigger. Another coaster I could see them adding is a small scale B&M family invert, much like Phoenix Rising that's going to open this year at Busch Gardens Tampa Bay. This would be a great fit for Hershey Park, especially if they use some terrain around Candemonium, that area. Given the popularity of these new Vacoma family boomerangs, I would say Hershey would probably lean towards something like this. However, they don't like to be exactly like everyone else and these are very popular right now. They're going up all over the place. I think it's a very strong possibility in the future we could see one of these because they have such a small footprint and we all know Hershey doesn't have a lot of room to work with. Which brings me to my next point, Tidal Force. I know I've said this in previous videos, but it is looking more and more like Tidal Force is going to see its last season this year. I don't know this to be fact by any means. I do know that every time I go to Hershey Park, there is nothing being done with this thing. Nobody's working on it, it's just sitting there. It's not open, it hasn't been open for a while now, and it is the middle of summer and nothing is being done with it. Which is exactly why I think they need to add a mock power splash coaster. This thing would kill two birds with one stone, adding a water ride plus another roller coaster to their stellar lineup. It would also free up some area by Tidal Force allowing for another flat ride. But who knows, they could go a totally separate route. If you remember Canyon River Rapids, it was a very popular ride at Hershey Park. Well, this is Mystic River Falls, and this is located at Silver Dollar City, and this is exactly what Hershey Park needs. I don't think it would happen anytime soon, but I could definitely see one of these coming to Hershey Park in the next 10 years. Make sure to comment below if you absolutely loved Canyon River Rapids as much as I did. Please be sure to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. Another coaster I could really see them adding is one of these Premier Rides Family Launch Coasters. With a height requirement of 48 inches, a small compact layout, they could easily fit one of these in the front of the park right by Candemonium. This is Icebreaker and it's located at SeaWorld Orlando. It's not very tall or fast, but it offers a lot of great elements and of course that thrill of the spike. I do believe that for the 2026 or 2027 season, Hershey Park will add a family roller coaster of some sort. It looks like for 2025 that they're going to be adding an SNS Scream and Swing. This is not fact by any means, just take it with a grain of salt. They have not announced this yet, but it does look like a strong possibility. And I think this is a great fit for Hershey Park if that's the case. A scream and swing right over top of the water would be a lovely spot for this thing and I think a lot of people would be very happy with that ride. One thing is for sure, the plot of land by Candemonium is really the only undeveloped land that Hershey Park has left and they could do a lot with this land, adding numerous rides, multiple different coasters. This is a significant amount of land without a doubt. 
However, I hear a lot of people mention the word Giga. And if you don't know what a Giga coaster is, it's a complete circuit roller coaster that has a height or drop between 300 and 399 feet. However, I do not see any such coaster coming to Hershey Park. Do I think Hershey Park could get it done as far as height and restrictions that they may have to abide by? Absolutely. However, I just don't see Hershey Park investing that kind of money in one attraction. They're better off investing in numerous different attractions with the cost of steel going up so much over the last couple years it's up over 20 percent so what it's cost to build a giga three or four years ago pretty much add another five million to that cost and you're looking at a 35 million dollar coaster and that's a small scale giga another coaster i hear a lot of people say that Hershey Park just absolutely needs and that would be a wing coaster and I'm going to give you two reasons why they don't. For one, they already have a wing coaster, Sky Rush. Number two, their neighbors to the south, King's Dominion, well they plan to add a wing coaster for the 2025 season. I would say there's more of a likelihood that we would see a B&M dive coaster than a wing coaster and I give that a very slim chance as well because of Dorney Park located about an hour away from Hershey Park and they just added a B&M mini dive for the 2024 season. Are there any rides or roller coasters that you feel I missed or you feel that Hershey Park should add in the future? Be sure to comment below. I love to hear what everybody else thinks. I would also love to know if anybody else thinks that they're going to expand by Candemonium for the 2026 or 2027 season. My name is Rich, this is Theme Park Motivation, and I want to thank you for watching. And I also want to mention that if you love roller coasters and you consider yourself a roller coaster enthusiast, we have a documentary coming out later this fall and you don't want to miss it. So please be sure to hit that subscribe button.